Subscribers and unsubscribers, and welcome to a playthrough of Isle 2 Sturmovic 1946. Although, technically speaking, it is now um, Forgotten Battles, but when you install it through Steam, it is still labeled as 1946, so I'm still going to refer to it as 1946. Um, just to ensure that nobody, for some reason, thinks it is a brand new game in the series, because it is not. This is still 1946. Um, and this is going to be labeled actually as episode 0. Um, and I am going to be um, pretty much walking you through the control setups that I'm going to be doing uh, for the first campaign. I do plan to do multiple campaigns, but only if the the videos in this series get um, a decent number of views, which I'm going to put at approximately 20. Um, I'll leave a little bit of leeway, like if a video only gets, say, 18 or 19 views, I'll still count it as if it was 20, even though it's not. I'm um, just for the sake of leaving that leeway. Um, but I don't plan to play the game at fully realistic settings, uh, at the very least for the these campaigns. As I go up in, uh, or as I do more and more campaigns, I will slowly increase the realism, but there are certain options that I will not turn on. Those options being things like realistic navigation. That is something I will never turn on. I do not like it. I'll probably not turn on these top three options right here either. Uh, granted, separate engine start wouldn't really be that important, especially if I'm going to be playing as gen probably generally um, single engine fighters. So yeah, I don't think I'll be playing as bombers really often unless you guys really request me to play as bombers, and I might, in which case it'll probably be a good idea to try turning these on, or at least the separate engine start. Uh, but yeah, this is generally going to be my difficulty setup for this first um, playthrough. Um, where I'm, I don't know exactly what I'm going to play as. France hasn't worked out for me in a couple of test recordings that I've done. Um, mostly because the Hurricane 1 does not work for me, personally. Um, and I'm, I don't think... I'll go and play as these smaller nations, like I don't think I'll play as like Finland or Hungary or Poland, even though Poland is a fairly big country when it comes to World War II. I don't think I'm going to play as them. I don't like their plane. It's garbage, to be honest. It is a, uh, it's not exactly a biplane, but, I mean, it is a monoplane, but it easily looks like it's a biplane where they went and they cut off a couple of the wings and just said this thing can fly that's what it looks like to me at least so generally speaking I'll probably be playing as like Germany Japan um, the British Commonwealth as a whole not just as um, the Royal Air Force and as Britain in general I'll be playing as probably um, the entire British Commonwealth at some point Obviously, the U.S. and the U.S.S.R. Um, but yeah. Though, of course, if you guys request that I play as one of these smaller countries, I don't mind doing so. I just don't exactly have plans to do so. The first playthrough, I'm going to select my country. After the first playthrough, you guys will be allowed to select what country I play as. Now, when it comes to the... Um, Initial, what's the term I'm looking for? Um, or, well, not, well, first, um, when it comes to the first two missions, I will be giving myself a cumulative three tries, so a three strikes, you're out kind of rule for the first two missions, and it's cumulative between the two of them. So it's not like I have three for the first, and then 
No matter what happened in the first mission, I also have three in the second. That's not the way it's going to work. If I die twice in the first mission, um, if I die twice in the second mission, it's GG with that second death. But with that first death, I still have one more attempt with the second mission. But if I die that second time on the second mission, and I have died twice on the first, the campaign ends right then and there no matter what happened. And I'll be using actually the dynamic campaign generator um, supplement as I refer to it. I don't really think it's necessarily a mod because the base game already has some dynamic campaigns, but I don't think they're really all that good. So I just use the dynamic campaign generator, which is, like I said, in my opinion, more of a supplement rather than an actual mod. Um, but I'm not sure who I'm going to play as actually for the first playthrough. I think I might just go and play as um, the US, probably in the Pacific, where I generally have played on my own personal playthroughs. Um, it's, in my opinion, worked better for me to play as, um, well, not necessarily just the US, but basically anybody in the Pacific Theater has generally worked a lot better for me than anybody else. I don't know what it is, but the Pacific Theater is where I do better. I do better against Japanese planes, probably because they have like no armor. They are pretty much paper mache, um, especially if you hit their fuel tank. While, and I'm also used to the planes for the um, Pacific Theater, even though I'm still not particularly good with them. But I don't like playing as the US Navy because I hate attempting to land on a carrier. I usually end up leaving that to autopilot actually uh, just because that's how bad I am at <laughs> landing on a kid right here um, but yeah that's actually gonna be it for this first step or for episode zero here where I sort of explain the general rules of the um, campaigns so these difficulty settings will slowly get ticked on if I do multiple playthroughs but if these videos or if this first campaign doesn't get a lot of views I'm not going to bother uh, but one thing I want to mention, this um, episode 0 and episode 1 are really only there to lay the groundwork for this series. I am not going to be actually starting this playthrough, or putting this playthrough essentially in like full gear until the start of the new year. Um, just for the sake of trying to minimize the number of series I have ongoing come the start of the new year. So this series is not going to go into full gear until, or yeah, this series doesn't go into full gear until the start of the new year. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for episode zero. If you enjoy this, obviously continue watching. Um, if you don't enjoy this, hopefully you don't mind at least sharing it with somebody who might be interested in it. Um, but like I said, I am not good at this game. Um, my... That's one of the main reasons why I'm turning off a lot of these um, somewhat more complex settings in a sense because that's, yeah, I'm not good at it. As I get better and more comfortable with the game, I will go and play, or I will do my own playthroughs, or I will not, not do my own playthroughs, I will tick on more and more of those options, but some of them will be staying off, like realistic navigation for example. That is something that will stay off no matter what. Even if I become like MLG Pro at this game, I will still keep realistic navigation off because I just hate it. Um, but yeah, that's gonna actually be it. So like I said, if you're interested in this, continue watching. If you're not, hopefully you don't mind sharing it with somebody who might be interested in it. Um, but I'm gonna go and cut off this episode right here and move on to recording episode one. So until then, 